so what I'm doing is I'm giving my dog a snuffle mat. Now you don't need to buy a snuffle mat to do this. You could just have a towel and just put put um, treats in a towel for your dog to find. So the difference with a snuffle mat is that there's different textures. So there's see how there's like there's different flaps that you can hide treats in. Look at him. He's like so ready and he's never even done this before. So we're just gonna put treats in here and have him find it. He is just so ready. Okay. Well, hopefully you like the treats that I picked out. Ideally, I think it would be better if he wasn't here to see what I'm, where I'm putting them. But actually, you know what? I should go put you in the bedroom. Yes, come on, we're going in the bedroom, let's go. Okay, so I sequestered my dog into another room so that he can't like see where the treats are. And I'm just going to hide them. I know this is the quality content you guys came here for, I'm sure. My dog's a weirdo and he likes weird stuff, so I'm hoping he likes it. I'd show you and demonstrate how this works. It's very simplistic. You just hide treats in little nooks and crannies. You could, okay, <coughs> Phoenix. You can make your own. Um, you could just use your towel. I just gotta get a little sophisticated with it. Titus, come on, let me do my outro, dude. I just thought, uh, <laughs> can I talk? I just thought I'd show you guys just an interesting thing you can do. If your dog is having cabin fever from being stuck inside because it's cold out, um, good way to trick him into eating new, new vitamins because it looks like he ate them. So anyways, that's it. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.